In the US, lawmakers have also passed a bill which could lead to a ban on TikTok. The bipartisan legislation forces the popular social media platform to divest itself from its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, or face a nationwide ban. The bill gives TikTok one year to sell its stake to a US-based entity. Lawmakers in both parties have raised national security and data privacy concerns. Supporters of TikTok question the constitutionality of the bill. The popular video app has an estimated 170 million users in the US alone. And our correspondent Stefan Simons has more on what this legislation would mean for TikTok. Well, it means literally TikTok, TikTok, no pun intended. The time is running out for TikTok and for ByteDance, the mother company of TikTok here in the United States. As you said, um, they have now one year to sell the company to a U.S. business or uh, TikTok will be banned in the United States. Now, the last hope is now to put some more pressure on the Senate because this House bill and all those bills have to go through the Senate. The Senate has to rubber stamp it, if you like. Um, they have to pass this also. And then it lands on the president's desk. And President Biden had said that he would support a bill banning or threatening to ban TikTok and making ByteDance, the Chinese company, to sell TikTok in the U.S., as you said, for or because of security concerns, national security concerns. So this is going to happen for ByteDance, for TikTok, uh, and we will see where this ends in a year. Stefan Simons there in Washington. Thank you, Stefan. Well, for more on the move to ban TikTok, I'm now joined by DW reporter Ben Dorman here in the studio. So, Ben, why exactly are U.S. lawmakers pushing for this ban? Well, it all comes down to China, essentially. Lawmakers and the intelligence community have long raised concerns that because TikTok is owned by this Chinese company, ByteDance, that opens up the possibility that Chinese authorities who get its hands on the huge amounts of used data it has and use that for surveillance, potentially. We're, remember, we're talking about an app here that, as you said, has roughly half the American population uses it, many of them daily. So there's huge implications there for possible use of that data. There's also been concerns raised about the potential for the Chinese authorities to maybe put pressure on TikTok to manipulate its algorithm to kind of boost content that firstly could support Chinese interests or boost misinformation, do things to kind of undermine American civil society in that way. As one lawmaker supporting the bill put it, he said that TikTok was like a spy balloon in Americans' phones. So it's all about these national security, these surveillance concerns. All right. And so have there been any reactions so far from TikTok or maybe the Chinese government? Well, TikTok is certainly not happy about these plans. It's, ne it's long pushed back against any move to force it to divest its US business or to introduce a ban. TikTok says these are kind of overblown, hypothetical concerns being raised. It points out that now at least it's all its US user data is based on servers in the US. So it says there isn't a risk of the Chinese government getting its hands on it. TikTok's American users have also reacted very angrily. They see this as a real attack on their kind of constitutional rights to freedom of speech. That's an argument that's been supported by the American Civil Liberties Union, other civil rights groups, and they've tested that in court at state levels well before. There's also been pushback from kind of supporters of the idea of an open internet. And they say that if the US does go ahead with this ban, unprecedented ban of a whole social media network, it really would act as more ammunition for repressive regimes around the world to ban other social media networks themselves. Well, it is an interesting argument. I mean, Russia and China have already banned massive amounts of social media. But when it comes to the U.S. right now, are there any more legal challenges that this uh, ban could, uh, would have to go through, or is it already done and dusted? Well, up next will be a vote in the Senate. That's expected sometime next week. There's already been signs from more senators that they would likely support the measure. If it passes, President Biden has already promised he'll sign it when it reaches him. Then there would be likely legal challenges from TikTok, but there's also a massive question mark over the whole idea of a sale anyway, in that the Chinese government would have to sign off on a sale. And the Chinese government has been very clear for a very long time that it views all these efforts as a massive attack on a kind of Chinese tech champion, so it wouldn't approve of any sale in any circumstances. All right. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how this actually breaks next week. That was DW reporter Ben Dorman for us in the studios. Thank you very much for your reporting.